He's down there. He's probably waiting to gag us and rob us blind. Call the police. We'll stay up here and be safe, yeah? Liz. Liz. Liz? Liz. Liz! Liz? Buongiorno. Shit, shit, who the fuck, who the fuck are you? Ah, uh, the gala awaits. It beckons. Who the fuck are you? You're so testy, and quite the mouth. Well. Well? Well, get the fuck out of my house, Well. Before I do, I want to ask you, and you don't have to answer this question. It's quite marvelous. That's your prerogative, a chap like you. But imagine this. Can you even begin to comprehend the pain one must feel to burn and roast in eternal damnation? What one takes to the torment of having their liver pecked and picked by ravenous midnight grackles to be hoisted, skewered on a spike and skinned, quartered, and have your guts and bladder and intestines passed and trampled as people cheer. No. Neither can I. <laughs> Question two. Who are you in yourself? Who? Yes. Who am? Can you answer? I. Who the hell are you? Oh, come on now, John. We've met throughout life, John. You break into my home? You have that right? Well, yes, I must. I'm Genesius of Rome. You're... That's correct. Are you of your fucking rocker? What are you supposed to be, uh? I am a martyr. What? A martyr. Yes? A martyr for art and for expression and the theater. That sanctum of flesh and blood and barbarism and the bold. I am Theseus. I am Faust. I am Ibsen. And to try with that virtue, in volition to destroy that marriage of human and the unreal, will bring vengeance and hellfire down upon thee and all you may know. Anon to take it, I rise to say it aloud. I am life. That was beautiful. Thank you. But I'm still gonna call the fucking cops if you don't leave from the door you came from. I'll give you ten seconds! Wait, I've seen your work. I'll give you five seconds. Do I look to harm you? I do not. I ask for passage. To receive to you an order. I bear no arms. Stay right there! Stay right there! You want something more substantial? All right. Your name is Jonathan Andrew Farrell. You were born at Lenox Hill on the Upper East Side at 743, three days after Bobby Kennedy was shot. I know because I had a banana daiquiri with him last night. Your mother wanted to give you a more biblical sounding name, perhaps Luke or Peter or Malachi. But you claim had she done this, you would have taken her out to a grassy field once she reached the age of senility and shot her as she pedaled away on her motorized wheelchair. You have a slight stigmatism in your right eye from a fight when you were six. The boy threw a brick at you. Now you carry drops to keep the eye moist. When you were 19, you lied to your buddies in college over how many women you'd slept with. I never lied about that. I was, I was fourth. I was forthcoming with my answer. I, I was modest. What was it? It was an even number. Two. Yeah, more like two lays to the eighth power before, right? Or am I generalizing? Wait a second, I'm not... Some of that, they'll contrive, clearly, in some sections. I'll make a concession. You've done your homework, yes. But there's no reason to bring up the past. Yes. The plot of future. I'll say this, and I'll say it in good conscience. You were sick. You haven't told your wife, but you are. You have half a year, maybe longer, if the tumor enters remission and does not spread to your brain. Is 
Forgive me, John. Please. You were skeptical at this, but I meant no encroachment. Do you have faith in me now? In my actions? What else? Tell me something else. What would you like to know? Will I have a son? No. I'm truly sorry. You have no brothers. You're an only child. Your father the same. Your namesake ends here. I'm sorry. Fuck. Fuck indeed. So what? You're a good man. You don't drink. You don't cheat on your wife. You hate Katherine Heigl movies. You're a good man. You said a message. Yes. A message to be received. For what? A legacy. Yes? Yours. I rationalize that. I don't know what you mean. I mean... Your masterpiece. John? I am the badass motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs>